Hello, everybody. Welcome to the winter Detroit River. The Detroit River is the southern end as it enters Lake Erie with Canada in the foreground and the U.S. in the background. Let's go to this river in the winter time. It's frozen now. The Detroit River flows west and south for 24 nautical miles. It's about 44 kilometers from Lake St. Clair to Lake Erie as a street in the Great Lakes system. The river divided the metropolitan area of Detroit, Michigan and the Windsor, Ontario, an area collectively referred to a, as Detroit River. Windsor at full part of the border between Canada and the United States. The Windsor Detroit border is the busiest international cross in North America. More than 40,000 commuters, tourists, and truck drivers carry almost 3 to 3 million worth of goods across the Windsor Detroit border each day. Windsor is a city in southwestern Ontario, Canada, on the south bank of the Detroit River, directly across from Detroit, Michigan, United States. I'm in the Windsor side. How deep is the Detroit River? The river ranges from about 18 to 52 feet deep. And the police say the area where they search are frequently between 20 and 35 feet deep. The river is 28 miles long, and the Detroit Short Line comprises roughly 10 miles of it. Does the Detroit River freezing? In fact, without icebreakers, the Detroit River could freeze over completely as it did years ago when Ron's runners drove cargoes of illegal bronzing across the frozen Detroit River. Much of Detroit River is covered with one to four inches of ice, while the St. Clair River is covered with 10 to 40 inches of ice. From its role in facilitating the industrialization of Windsor and Detroit to the Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement at its design at Aerial Cancer, the Detroit River has a rich and a vibrant story to tell. The Detroit River has served an important role in the history of the Windsor Detroit area, as it's one of the busiest waterways in the world. Connecting Lake Superior, Michigan, and Huron to the St. Lawrence Seaway. The river is designed by American Heritage River and the Canadian Heritage River, the only river to have its due designation. The Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement between Canada and the United States, first signed in 1972, committed both countries to protect and restore the Great Lake ecosystem. Enjoying the view of the Winter Detroit River. Welcome to Windsor, welcome to the Detroit River. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.